Hi students, uh, today we're going to be talking about electrostatic force and I'm going to start, start off with a couple of terms here. Uh, let's take a look at this balloon. It has some plus signs and some minus signs and what we're going to call this balloon is a neutral object. Now, the reason we call it a neutral object is because it has an equal number of negative particles to positive particles and if you think back to what an atom is made out of, atoms are made out of protons which are positively charged, electrons, which are negatively charged, and neutrons, which have no charge at all. So this balloon in particular right now has four positively charged protons and four negatively charged electrons. So this is a neutral object because the protons and electrons are equal. So same thing goes for the sweater. If we look, there is an equal number of blue negative signs to uh, red positive signs. So this sweater also is a neutral object. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and rub the sweater against the balloon, and we're going to see if anything changes. Okay, you can see as I rub the balloon against the sleeve, I've picked up some electrons from the sweater. The sweater has given those to the balloon, and there's many more negative signs in the balloon than positive signs. So the balloon has just become what we call a charged object because it has an imbalance of protons and electrons okay this balloon in particular right now is negatively charged because it has more minus signs now let's take a look at the sweater when we picked up those electrons what were we left with we have more plus signs than negative signs so the sweater is positively charged so one thing we need to know is that in electrostatic force opposites attract so I have a negatively charged object which is the balloon and a positively charged object which is the sweater and if I let this balloon go, low, uh, if I let the balloon go, we'll see that the objects attract. Okay, perfect. So let me go ahead and add a second balloon, and I'm going to go ahead and remove my wall. So we saw that the yellow balloon was attracted to the sweater, positive was attracted to negative. I'm going to go ahead and charge the green balloon as well. I'm going to pick up some electrons from the sweater, and we should be able to predict what's going to happen when I put the yellow balloon next to the green one. They're both negatively charged. You can see each balloon has more negative than positive and they want to get away from each other. We said opposites attract and like charges repel. Opposites attract and like charges repel. Hopefully that helps. I'll talk to you later. Thanks.